All right, let's take a look at the metronome. You see we have it open here. And we access that by tapping above there. Right now it's set to 60, so if I tap right at the 60 point, I'll get my metronome. And we'll just start her up here. And so one of the nice things we have is this real nice dial here. To change the speed, we just crank on it. Gotta love this. Another nice feature of this is the tap function. Let's see what we can do here. So after a couple of taps, it'll pick up the beats per minute and switch to it. Really nice, handy thing. Another feature we can use, we have click and drum. We switch to drum here. And we have two, three, and four, so we can switch to the number of beats that are in our measure. We're set to four right now, let's go to two. Go to three. Like the four. And there we have it, the metronome.
look at the tape echo. That's off, now I'll put her on. So we could add just a nice sustain there. We've got our uh, slider all the way to short. And let's bring it up about halfway here. About three quarters there. Max this baby out. We have a sustain control here. Let's pop that all the way down. And let's just take off a bit of that long delay there. See, it's a lot drier without that sustain. So bring that in a little more. So it just keeps that delay right in the mix. A little more sustain. We've got a volume for the overall effect. Pop this baby down there. More of the dry guitar. Less of the effect. Yeah, put a butt there. And a little more tone. We got a little treble on top there. That's a pretty nice setting right there. Uh, let's just see how she sounds here with a little track going. And there we have it.